How's the hangover? I'll drink it off. <laughs> you do know you have students to teach, right? You have responsibilities now. Actually, Scott, all my students are passing. I find that incredibly hard to believe. Well, Scott, if you could find someone that knows more about American history than myself, they could take my job. But until then, fuck off, will you, bub? Help! Help! Somebody! Police are looking into it, but so they're a little backed up right now. Probably still reeling from that Sinister Six fiasco. That's bullshit, and you know it, Scott. We're not a priority. Never were. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. Did any of the kids see the body? Just one. They were supposed to be in class, but they skipped. Storm's talking to them now. We need to keep this just between the teachers. And why can any of the students know about this? They're children, Logan. Do you want to scare the shit out of them? They have the right to know, Scott. This could happen to them at any given time, at any given moment. And what if one of them decides to do something stupid? Like what? Stick it to the assholes that did it to them in the first place? Sounds fair to me. Those assholes would come back even harder, Logan. That's not how we win. Do we have any idea who did this? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Who? Who, Scott? Logan, you know I can't. A child was murdered, Scott! Tell me who is responsible for this, right fucking now! We're pretty sure it was the Church of Humanity. What is that? They're an anti-mutant religious-based group. They believe that man was created in God's image and mutants aren't. They've really been making a name for themselves over the past nine months. All across the country, mutants have been found dead on crucifixes. Today marks their seventh victim. Also their last. Where can I find these bastards? Charles and I will handle this. We need you to stay here and calm down. You and I both know this will not be solved diplomatically. These roots run deep. The only way to have an impact is to cut it down like a tree. You know I'm right, Scott. I can't confirm anything, but they do have meetings out of St. Alexander in Vermont. So I've been told. Tell Hank to get the jet ready. Logan. Make them hurt. Just don't validate their belief that we are monsters. They killed a kid, Scott. So once again, I am just here to remind you that I am just a mere instrument of the Lord. No matter a man's color or belief, he is still human. Unlike those disgraced mutants, the X-Men. Now, I'm here to introduce you a friend from the diocese. Today, Supreme Pontiff.
Hello, followers of humanity. We are gathered here today under the belief that the mutant species does not fall into our Lord's image. You, your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, they are all works of art that God created. These mutants are an insult to his creation, an invention of Satan. Just like how God sent plagues on the pharaohs who betrayed him, we will be a plague upon the mutant kind. We strive to live in a world where our children can feel safe in their classrooms without the fear that one of their peers is a mutant abomination who could burn the whole school down. Destruction and chaos has ravaged our world. Our world is sick. God's green earth is sick. Mutants are the sickness. We, the Church of Humanity, are the white blood cells we have our home's best interests in mind. We help out our neighbor. We heal. We fix. And we destroy infections. Rejoice, brothers and sisters. For we are God's soldiers. We will restore the world's holiness. And we will rid the sickness from God's creation. And in return, he promises a spot for us all in his heaven. Amen. I tread lightly if I were you. Mr. Botnam's gun here is loaded with adamantium bullets. 
Most things don't harm you. Those. Those are the exception. Aren't they, Wolverine? Try something, you I love the excuse. You bastards killed children. I'll rip your fucking throats out! Do you know there's news outlets that count you as human? CNN, ABC, The Daily Bugle. They label you as human. It's insulting! We're more human than you monsters. Now tell me, Wolverine. I can't keep calling you that. I'm assuming you mutants have real names. Logan. Tell me, Logan. What did you expect to accomplish by coming out here and killing everyone? Soon the whole world will agree with our ideology, and there'll be more people on this planet than mutants. You kill children! Might as well just pull the weeds out of the garden early, if you ask me. That's enough, Reverend. Logan, I am afraid that by coming here, you have failed at whatever you were trying to do. In fact, the truth is that you've made the situation even worse for yourself and your species of monsters. I don't know, Father. Ripping you limb from limb seems like a win to me. <laughs> hey, Father, can I waste this bastard yet? Stay, my brother. The Lord will grant us an eternity in his heaven, knowing we died as soldiers in his cause. Damn you! Damn your existence! Let the Lord strike down upon you and rid your filth from this world! May you die a painful death! I'm just an aging trouble boy And in the wars I used to play And I've called a tune to many a torches Breaking news! A mutant attack in St. Alexander has left seven dead. We strongly encourage any viewers to stay aware of mutants in your area. You, mutant scum! Put your hands in the air! Drop the knives and get on the ground now! Don't make me ask again! Get down on the ground, you mutant piece of shit! I run with the money. I have a hit like a thief. Rewritten history with my armies and my crooks. Invented memories. I did burn all the books. And I can still hear his laugh. And I can still hear his song. The man's too big. When I try to be me, I have tried to be mine. But it's fat like a woman And it's soft like a child I have lived behind walls That I may be alone Striven for peace Which I never have known And I can still hear his laughter And I can still hear his song The man's too big 
Always was a Judas, but I got you anyway. 